Hello boys and girls of primary 6. Good morning to you all. First of all, I welcome you to this interesting platform which intend to help you cover your syllabus. I assure you that once you return, this work won't be repeated, so I urge you to take these lessons seriously. Don't take them for granted. Uh, before you went back home, you had number patterns and sequences as the topic ongoing. You had it with Chakaima. So let's continue from where you ended. We shall begin with uh, knowing how to find the prime factorized numbers or the numbers that have been factorized. You had already learned how to, fa uh, to factorize prime numbers using uh, the following method is one. You had factor tree. You had another method known as ladder method. So I needed just to remind you about the above uh, sorry, the mentioned methods are uh, two. The answers uh, were presented in the following forms. One, you had the answers presented in multiplication form. You had also the answers presented in a subscript form. But remember, multiplication form can also be called power form. So let's go strictly to examples. Question one demands us to find the number that has been prime factorized to get the following prime numbers. Can you remember how best we can read this? If not, let me remind you. This one is read as 2 subscript 1, 2 subscript 2, 5 subscript 1, then 7 subscript 1. This means the first 2, the second 2, the first 5, the first 7. So we are asked the number which was prime factorized to get uh, to get this. Let's see how to get it. Once you are given such question, just know this, that it is a matter of finding the product of the given prime numbers. So here we need just to have 2 times 2 times 5 times 7 as shown below. After knowing that, as you are aware to make our calculation is easier in mathematics, once you have addition, multiplication, just apply the property known as associative property. What does it mean? Associ associative property is where we pair or we group into twos our numerals to make our calculation is easier. So this was my choice and I believe my choice is your choice. So here I, I grouped or I paired the first two then followed by the next two. So here we shall need to work out whatever is inside the brackets. In the first brackets we have 2 times 2 which leads us to 4. Then 5 times 7 which is 35. All this can be done mentally. But when it comes to 4 times 35 it may be difficult 
to many of you. So to make it easier for everybody, we need to arrange it vertically. So after arranging vertically, we need to have 4 being multiplied by 5, which leads us to 20. And remember, we can't write the whole 20. We have to write 0, and we regroup 2. Then after that, we have 4 times 3, which leads us to 12. Then after that, what next? That product... We need to also consider the numeral that we regrouped. So 12 times, sorry, plus 2 leads us to 14. Meaning 35 times 4, the answer is 140. So that is the number that was prime factorized to come up with these prime numbers. Dear learners, let's look at example two. Question two it says, find the number which is prime factorized to get, can you read that, members? This is read as two to power two, then times three to power two, then times five to power one. Now, what do we need to, to do? We need to know the meaning of 2 to power 2. Then 3 to power 2. 5 to power 1. 3 to power 2 means 2 times 2. Then 3 to power 2 means 3 times 3. Not 3 times 2. Don't say 3 times 2 because you are seeing this 2. 3 to power 2 means 3 appears 2 times. That is 3. Sorry, 3 times 3. Not 3 times 2. Then 5 to power 1. The power represents the number of times the number appears. So three, sorry, five to power one means five appears once. So five to power one means five. So we shall come up with two times two from two to power two, then three times three from three to power two, then times five from five to power one. After that, remember, add already urged you to always pair our numerals to make our calculations easier. You pay according to your choice. But remember here, I've paired for you, meaning I've chosen for you the numerals to pair. So here I paired the first two followed by the next two. But now 5 does not have any other numeral to be paired with. So leave it alone. So after that, we shall have the product of 2 and 2, which is 4. Then the product of 3 and 3, that is 9. Then lastly, times 5. Now that we have three numerals, here we also need to choose where brackets should appear where we can pair in order to make our calculations easier. If I have 4 times 9 and 9 times 5, I feel 9 times 5 is cheaper than 4 times 9. So that's why I have chosen to pair 9 with 5. So this will lead me to 4 times 45. 45 from 9 times 5. 45 4 times may not be easy to compute mentally. Then why not arranging it vertically? So here we have 4 times 5 which is 20. Write 0 and regroup 2. Then we also have 4 times 4 
children can you tell 4 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 4 4 times that is 16 then also consider what we regrouped so 16 plus 2 we shall come up with 18 meaning 45 times 4 the answer is 180 dear learners let's look at the last example i believe with the first two you have already understood let's look at the last one it reads find the number which has been prime factorized to get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 53 can you tell this form this is what we call multiplication form the answer has been expressed in multiplication form so which numeral was prime factorized to get the above what do we need to know just to, to pair because we don't have the power we don't have the subscript to first express it in this given form this one is just direct just have two being multiplied by two by instituting brackets then two by two by applying brackets as you can see so two times two the answer is four then two times two it is also four then lastly times five now can you tell four times four can you tell the answer four times four that means four four times four four times the disaster 16 then lastly times three Dear learners, can you tell the product of 16 and 53? Let me answer on your behalf. This I can tell. None of you can tell the answer mentally. So we need to arrange this vertically or we need to apply the other method which is known as lattice method which some call Napier's bones. But I know for you, you are used to lattice method. But let's work out this using vertical method. So here we have 6 times 3, which leads us to 18. And remember, we can't write the whole 18. Just write 8 and regroup 1. Then secondly, have the product of 5 and 6. 5 times 6 or 6 times 5, the answer is 30. Then 30 plus 1, it gives us 31. Meaning 53 times 6, the answer is 318. Remember this was 16. We first multiplied 53 by 6. Meaning we have 53 times 10, not 1. 16. When it is expanded in a value form, we have 10 plus 6. So let's have 53 times 10. But I know you, for you, I use it to saying 1. So let's continue to what you are used to. 53 times 1. That is 1 times 3, which is 3. Then 1 times 5, which is 5. But now that we are multiplying 53 times 10, there must be a placeholder here, which is 0. From 53 times 10, the answer should be 530. Then after finding the product, we need also to find the sum, to come up with the answer. The final answer. So we have 8 plus 0, which is 8. Then 1 plus 3, it leads us to 4. Then lastly, a 3 plus 5, the answer is 8. Meaning 53 times 16, or 16 times 53, the answer is 848. 
848. Dear learners, that marks the end of our examples. Below is your activity, which is made up of only six questions. Only simple six questions. Please endeavor to submit your answers for marking through the given WhatsApp numbers given to you. I wish you a good day. Please stay home and stay safe. Bye-bye.